So you bought yourself a thousand dollar plate of copper. Now what? Well, my first suggestion would be don't screw it up. <laughs> That's your first and foremost priority. Measure three or four times and cut once. Uh, that, that's the biggest advice I can take and give to you. So welcome back to the workshop. In this video, we're gonna discuss about handling of expensive materials like copper and how to best get your value out of it. And you can be able to use this um, for, you know, get the most out of this for your customers and your profit margin at the end of the day. So obviously the first one is we wanna el eliminate as much wastage as possible. Now certain jobs like what I'm working on here, this just happens to be a three foot diameter copper bird bath that I will be working on. Uh, some wastage is going to be necessary. So we're starting with a square sheet and I'm going to have to cut this round. And by cutting it round, I'm gonna have some wastage in the corners. But if I'm smart, I can, eliminate, I can reduce as much wastage as possible, and, and I will. I will end up turning, just so happens, since it's three feet in diameter, it leaves some fairly large corners that I can then cut some smaller six inch bowls right out of the corners as I lay this out. Also, I am not laying this out to a full sheet. Uh, if you can, if you can possibly have the ability to cut something out of a full sheet and not have to shear it off first, that will give you a lot more options as well. Because just like how I'll have some dead space in the corners once I draw this big circle here, just like that, there will be wastage area right here where if you would have cut that off right at the correct diameter of the copper circle, you would end up with only options for some six inch bowls there. But if you nest things on a sheet appropriately and really stack them in there tightly, if you have the ability to do so, you can really uh, reduce the amount of wastage. Now, right now, currently in my Currently at today's market price at the recording of this video, copper sells somewhere right around at $250 to $3 a pound. That's for good, clean copper. And you know that's your premium copper that you might take in. It's not dirty plumbing copper, but clean copper like what you see here. And so if you don't have, if you don't have a lot of wastage, you can still pick up an extra probably 50 to 100 bucks and just the scrap skeleton off of this if you choose to do the uh, scrapping out route. So the other thing that you can do, just like in that scrap wastage area, you can actually work on putting, coming up with smaller products that you can put in them smaller wastage area spaces. They could be like some copper crosses, they could be bottle openers, they could be just about anything that you think you can cut out of a flat sheet of copper. Um, you could cut the thinner strips down and roll them into rings, use them for all sorts of different uh, projects, decorative accents, uh, washers, spacers, things like that for different ironwork applications, maybe something like fireplace frames, uh, doorknobs, you know, stuff like that. You can use them as spacers or, or washers, uh, maybe even in some kniff work there. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of the, that's kind of the key things there is watch your wastage uh, on that. That's that whole adage of measure twice, cut once. Well, with copper and this being a thousand dollars to buy brand spanking new, you really want to measure about four or five times and cut once. So material handling is the main key with anything that you're working that's very expensive. Next tip with working on expensive material is start yourself a separate scrap situation for your scrap copper. Do not throw this in the mix with just your steel copper. The reason for that being is one, even though this being scrap material, if copper rubs against copper, it's, it's not going to do any damage. But if you throw this in the bottom of your steel barrel and you throw a bunch of steel in with it, steel on copper, it'll leave gouges and scratches. And this is additional work 
that you're going to end up having to take out at a later result or you might damage your scrap copper to a point where you won't actually be able to use it for any sort of projects. Lastly, this brings me to my last key point here on uh, buying or messing with extremely expensive materials. Have a plan before you buy or go ahead and foot the bill on brand new material. Can you get this material at scrap prices? Is there another type of material that you can work with for this particular project or do you definitely need this? I know it's really tempting when you get into doing the business side of it is like hey money's not an option i just got to get this job done let me let me buy whatever i need to buy really really do your research and shop around and the only way you can do your research and shop around is you need a clear and concise plan of how you are going to handle these materials when you get them in your shop if you're going to buy go through the process of buying a really expensive sheet of copper like this sheet of copper a thousand thousand bucks is how much that cost me to get it in here to the shop again i needed that for the job and other jobs as well so i will end up making i will probably end up making about 3x my money on this particular sheet now again rule thirds i, I won't make that much personally but as far as the ability to do different types of product i will be able to put out about three to about four grand easily of you know benefit to the shop let's call it that for my overhead and to pay myself i will be able to get that out of this sheet by the time of making product out of that thousand bucks so again i already have a clear concise plan for why a sheet like this is valuable to me if you're just trying to get into doing some copper work and you want to work with maybe some small pieces, copper bowl, do some jewelry, things like that, consider checking out plumbing fittings, like plumbing material. Uh, you can find plumbing pipe up in fairly good sizes. And if you just split that with a, say with a cutoff wheel or a hacksaw, you split that pipe and you roll it out, boom, you've got a flat sheet of copper and you've got a good bit of copper material in say something like a two inch copper pipe of course it's going to be expensive and relatively it's going to be a lot more expensive than if you were to try to do that long term it's going to be more than the big sheet of copper but that gets you in a nice introductory area to where you're not spending a thousand bucks up front you really don't have a clue of what you're going to use the rest of it for it's going to be someday stuff like that needless expenditures will really eat your business alive so hopefully you guys found some help in these tips if you did let me know down in the comment section down below and if you like to take and see more videos like this hit that subscribe button I greatly appreciate it if you do that and click the bell for notifications. And if you're one of those people that have been watching for a while and you want to support videos like this and what we're doing, I ask that you join some of these great uh, channel members that you see rolling on the screen. Um, all you got to do is click the little join button by my, by my face and uh, you can help support content like this on YouTube. And I greatly appreciate that as well. So without further ado, God bless each and every last one of you out there in your businesses and in your homes and your lives. And I hope you have a great and prosperous year. We'll talk to you on the next one.